Is that right, aye? Aye, that's right. In recent years, solar activity has been increasingly recognised as a significant factor in influencing Earth's technological infrastructure. Known collectively as space weather, the phenomenon such as solar flares, coronal mass ejections and geomagnetic storms have the potential to disrupt satellites, radio communications and even terrestrial power grids. The recent wave of power outages across parts of Portugal and Spain has raised questions among scientists and policymakers alike about whether space weather may have played a role in these failures. As solar activity intensifies during the current solar cycle, examining the correlation between solar events and infrastructure disturbances becomes more urgent and scientifically relevant. Space weather refers to the environmental conditions in space as influenced by the sun. The most impactful space weather events stem from solar activity, particularly solar flares and CMEs, coronal mass ejections. A solar flare is a sudden, intense burst of radiation resulting from the release of magnetic energy on the sun's surface. Coronal mass ejections, meanwhile, are massive clouds of solar plasma and magnetic field ejected into space. When these emissions are Earth-directed, they interact with our planet's magnetosphere, sometimes causing geomagnetic storms. And it's these storms that can induce electric currents in power lines, pipelines and undersea cables, potentially overloading or damaging infrastructure. And we are currently approaching the peak of Solar Cycle 25, which began in December of 2019 and is expected to reach its maximum between now and 2026. Solar activity has been higher than initially predicted by NOAA and NASA. In late April of 2025, the Sun released a series of strong M-class and X-class solar flares, as well as a particularly fast-moving coronal mass ejection that reached Earth's magnetosphere in under 48 hours. These events coincided with elevated auroral activity reported as far south as Northern Africa, indicating a powerful geomagnetic storm. The NOAA Space Weather Prediction Centre had issued multiple warnings for power grid station operators, satellite controllers and aviation sectors. Very shortly after the CME's impact on planet Earth on April the 27th through April the 28th, large portions of Portugal and Western Spain experienced widespread power outages. The blackouts were not uniform, but affected regional grids in cascading fashion, suggesting a systematic electrical instability. Preliminary reports from the Iberian Peninsula's grid operators, this indicated that Spain cited unexplained frequency imbalances and transformer malfunctions as among the potential causes. While there is no official confirmation as of yet linking these outages directly to solar activity, the timing is striking. Geomagnetically induced currents, CIGs, which flow through the ground and into power lines during geomagnetic storms, are known to overload transformers, disrupt frequency regulation and trip protection systems. This vulnerability was demonstrated historically in the 1989 Hydro-Quebec blackout in Canada, which was triggered by a CME-induced geomagnetic storm. Similar mechanisms may have been at play in the Iberian Peninsula during these blackouts. If further investigations confirms that solar activity contributed to the power outages in Portugal and Spain, then this would mark one of the most significant space weather related infrastructure failures in Europe in recent decades. And it underscores the growing need for governments and energy companies 
to take space weather forecasting seriously and build resilience into electrical infrastructure. But what do you guys think about this solar activity being responsible for the recent blackouts and power outages across Portugal and Spain? Comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.